Welcome, everybody. Happy birthday to us. How long is coming true? One year. One year. One year ago, I decided there should be a group of nobodies who get on stage as often as possible and make up funny things and say them for three bucks. Here we are, one year later. Uh, give it up for all the comics you've seen tonight. I expect that it go longer. <laughs> Give it up again for your host and MC, Mr. Mike Orgo. He's, he's, he's trying. Um, I like his uh, Patrick Stewart impression. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, it reminded me, though, I have a feeling that, like, in the entire universe, the worst, the worst people of, uh, the worst offenders of cyberbullying, the Borg, it's for you Star Trek fans. If you're not a Star Trek fan, I don't like you much. Um, <laughs> I have a William Shatner autograph photo. Hey, that's a true story. Uh, I met William Shatner at a, uh, a comic convention this year. Uh, uh, no, no, last year, beginning of the year. And um, uh, I was sitting there, I'm sitting there, I'm in line waiting to meet William Shatner, like an idol of mine, like seriously an idol. And uh, I'm going. Ah, I gotta. I can say something funny. I gotta. I gotta make William Shatner laugh. That's what I gotta do. So I get up to the front of the line, and um, and this is what I did. Instead of getting my picture taken with him, I got him to sign a picture he was selling. Also, I could get him. Also, I could do this. I started to say something, and he goes, "Thanks for coming to the convention." And I was like, "Thank you, Bill." And I was like, "Just called William Shatner, Bill." I just roll. Right off. Like I don't even ever refer to him as Bill. I just said it. Here he is. He's Bill. I said, thank you, Bill. You know, you're both the reason I started and stopped acting. <laughs> I laughed because I thought he was gonna laugh. Because I thought he was gonna laugh. He gives me one of these. Well, that's good. <laughs> Kept writing, handed me the autograph, I walked away. No, I was happy though. I still came away going, oh! William Shatner crack up, he's gonna laugh later. <laughs> it's only sad now, because the, the reality has set in. It's been a year and a half. He didn't really laugh. <laughs> so, uh, I came out in the Snoop Doggy Dog for a uh, purpose, because I have a joke. Uh, Snoop Doggy Dog, recently, you, know, you, might, you guys probably heard about this, has uh, found religion, and is gonna start doing reggae now and has changed his name to Snoop Lion. Yeah, yeah, this is, no, this is real. Snoop Lion, based on his reggae religion finding. Uh, but you might not have heard also that uh, WWE wrestler Triple H has also like had a similar experience, and he's changing his name to Jesus Triple H Christ. <laughs> That's for you, Orgo. Uh, I was putting up flyers for the show, and I was over at, uh, this is a true story, I was over at uh, Railroad Square. Everything else I'm going to say is bullshit, but this is true. Uh, I was over at Railroad Square, putting up this flyer, and this dude walking by me stopped me and goes, what's that for? I said, oh, it's the Howler Monkeys comedy show. And he cut me off and goes, it's going to be live monkeys? <laughs> And you've never seen a middle-aged, albeit distinguished-looking, transient go from super excited to down in the dumps over the possibility of, and then news that there would be no live monkeys. As I said, no, we're stand-up comics, we're humans. And he goes, oh. And I walked away. And I said, but you should come to the show anyway, we're funny. And he turned around and gave me a look that I can only assume is, Bitch, I'm homeless. <laughs> to which my response was, uh, <laughs> It's very awkward. 
So uh, Shark Week just ended. Shark Week's over with. Um, yeah. I, you lo who loves Shark Week? My sister loves it. Yeah, Shark Week. Uh, this is my turn. Um, I was uh, I was watching the, the one uh, one of the it was one of the ones about people getting attacked by sharks. Remember that one? Um, this one uh, this woman got this woman got attacked by a shark as she lived, and the whole story was uh, the guy goes she was swimming in the ocean. All she was doing was swimming, minding her own business, and then a shark mistook her for prey and attacked her. And I went, if you're swimming in the ocean and delicious, you're prey. Unless you're either another shark or a wolverine, I mean, <laughs> pretty much, you're a prey. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah, so Shark Week's over, sorry. Uh, the Olympics are also over. Somebody mentioned the Olympics earlier. Neil, was that you? Yes, sir. Neil mentioned the Olympics. If you weren't paying attention, I wrote down the final, uh, some final tally on the Olympics. Um, this is just to inform you all, this is an informative uh, show. Great Britain, uh, London hosted the Olympics, but embarrassingly didn't do too good. Uh, the U.S. came in first. Um, so, wait, hooray for the U.S., right? First place. China was second place. Great Britain had 11 actors who all played Doctor Who. That's, I mean, that's something, you know? Um, uh, the U.S. had 104 total medals, right? The U.S., USA, 104 total medals. China had 88 total medals. Uh, Great Britain, 47 total episodes of Monty Python's Flying Circus. That's a lot. That's a lot of episodes. That's all I'm saying. Uh, U.S. total 46 gold medals. What the fuck, dude? 46 for USA, right? China, 38. U.S. 46, I said that. Great Britain, 52 women. James Bond has slept with 52 women in his entire movie career. That's a lot. That's a lot of women. Four of which he slapped straight in the mouth. <laughs> but to defend James Bond, it was a different time. And they were uppity. Mostly, three of which were like Roger Moore. He just like slapping ways. Who am I gonna slap in this one? I don't see any slaps. Uh, I'll just throw one in. Roger Moore. To Roger Moore, everybody. No, no, don't test Roger Moore. I, I know there's like a lot of politically correct uh, uh, jargon going on like these days in the news and stuff. And so uh, to counter that, I have no politically correct stuff in my entire set. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Another thing about the Olympics that I love, I love uh, like the U.S. and all the other uh, teams. They, all, they have like teams within the teams that have their own nicknames sometimes if they're good enough. Like in 96, the women's uh, gymnastics won the first gold medal ever for the U.S. And they were called the Magnificent Seven, which is a really cool team name. Uh, and then this year, our women's gymnastics team was five girls and they, they swept the medals. And they were the Fab Five. And then I was watching uh, that the women's swim team uh, was on. And they had an announcer in the studio. They had an announcer by the pool. And the one in the studio says, uh, John, I hear they have a nickname for themselves. And I was like, oh, sweet. Another cool nickname that I can call them. You know, that I can refer to around the water hole. Oh, what do you call them? <laughs> water machine. The old water thing that they do. <laughs> Let's get off water. Uh, I hear they have a good, a cool nickname that they call themselves, John. That's right, Pat. They call themselves the Smiley Club on account of how we're always smiling. <laughs> Back to you, Pat. <laughs> Smiley Club. I'm not calling them that. That's lame. That's the uh, U.S. swim female swim team name, Smiley Club. Just so you know. On account of how we're always smiling. Back to you, Pat. Thanks for holding those laughs in. <laughs> so, there's a term that gets thrown around a lot. You read my mind. If someone actually reads your mind and you're anything less than flabbergasted, you're fucking lying. Someone's lying. 
The rest of this joke goes like this. <laughs> hey, Paul, guess what I did today? You woke up first at 5.28 in the morning with a raging boner. Surfed the internet for an hour and a half and fell asleep without masturbating. Woke up again at 11.02, realized you were two hours late for work, called in sick. Went to the bank, withdrew $77 from your checking account. Hit on the bank teller, she denied you. You sat in your car and cried for a half hour. Uh, then you ate Arby's, took a greasy dump, uh, cried for another half hour, and uh, now you're here. Ah! Read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, another another term that gets thrown around too much is uh, <laughs> if it makes you feel better. What about that? No one has ever said if it makes you feel better and follow up with anything that ever actually made me feel better. Uh, you know, like, hey, what's what's wrong? Oh, um, just my, my dog's sick. You know, he's been throwing up all week. He's in the bed. I'm waiting to hear back about him. Oh, really? Yeah, it's too bad, man. Hey, if it makes you feel better, my dog just died. <laughs> No, <laughs> that does not make me feel better at all. Yeah, my grandmother backed over him in the driveway. She's losing her eyesight. It was my birthday. Stop talking right now. Like, this is the most depressing thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it's cool, though. She had a stroke, so, you know, fucking whatever karma. <laughs> it's the most, it's the worst. Like, the only way I could actually be brought up if someone, if I'm down and, hey, if it makes you feel better, uh, I just baked this pie. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what kind of pie? <laughs> is, is it blueberry? <laughs> oh, blueberry. <laughs> that might work. My first joke of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be, uh, let's see. I liked, uh, Orgo was doing the, um, what if this guy was in all these other movies, so I'm just gonna cut the crap, and, uh, I love Christopher Walken, I do a decent walk-in, so here it goes. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Hold your applause until maybe I'm funny. Uh, what if Christopher Walken had been the Joker in the recent Batman, uh, Dark Knight movie? <clears throat> you wanna know? How I got these scars. I got myself shaving. They got a heel, it's fine. Thanks. Let's put a smile on that face. On that face. On that face. I know what that was. Um, what if Christopher Walken was Leonidas in 300? Spartans, tonight, we're gonna dine. Ruby Tuesday, they got a, a buffet, I hear, it's lovely. Or maybe hell, that's right, Golden, golden Corral. What if Christopher Walken had played, this is the hackiest shit I've ever done, what if Christopher Walken had played a guy in another movie? <laughs> I'm gonna need some of that later. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Right? We all love Forrest Gump. We all love, hate Tom Hanks. <laughs> there we go. Everybody loves Tom Hanks. What am I say? Okay, Christopher Walken is Forrest Gump. Life. It's like a box. Chocolate. Candies. You never know which ones are the caramels. That's the only ones I like. What gives? Hershey's. <laughs> I, okay. I imagine Sigmund Freud, you know, uh, famous philosopher Sigmund Freud, inventor. <laughs> inventor. Is he not that famous? Is that why that was funny? Uh, inventor of the uh, Freudian slip, had a Freudian slip and invented it at the same time. <coughs> in, front, 
in front of like a group of his colleagues or something at a party. Yes, my wife and I were just upstate at a lovely cock tasting, wine tasting. Uh, that's something I've been working on, a theory of mine. Uh, it's called a Freudian slip, why not? I just wanted to give you an example so we could open the floor for discussion or not. We don't have to talk about it. I'm going to go upstairs now and sleep with my mom. Take a nap. Take a nap. And fondle the dog's balls. That one I'm in. Oh, Freud. Um, okay, so... Number, if anybody's good at math, total number of speeding tickets I've received, eight. Total number of accidents my speeding has caused, zero. I'm not an advocate for speeding, I'm just saying that so far, I've been fined eight times for ex just amazing driving. It'd be like, it's kind of like firing the scientist who finally cured cancer. <laughs> Damn it, Kevin. We've been working on this for 43 years. You come in here and just solve cancer your first week. Leave your laminate. Take your Dilbert calendar. Get out of here. Okay. I'm going to leave you on this. A reading, a piece of work from one of my favorite poets, Mr. Russell Jones, 2000, sorry, 1968 to 2004. <clears throat> and I'm going to do it in the style of uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Reverend Orgo doing his Patrick Stewart. So, uh. <clears throat> shame on a nigga. For trying to run game on a nigga. Woo! Buck wild with the trigger! Shame on a nigga. For trying to run game on a nigga. I'll fuck your ass up! Hot one, hot two, hot three, hot! Old, dirty bastard, live and uncut! <laughs> My style is unbreakable, shatterproof. To the young youth, you want to get guns? Shoot. Blah! <laughs> How you like me now? <laughs> Don't fuck the style. Ruthless wild. You want to get your teeth knocked the fuck out? We'll get on it like that. Well then shout, shame on a nigger for trying to run game on a nigger. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot you guys. I'm Scott B. Lee, I'm the comedy group. Spider-Man masks, guys. Nobody's wearing Spider-Man masks. What's wrong with you people? I've always wanted to be Spider-Man. We're gonna do a little something here right now. I'm, uh, can't see that I'm looking over there. The mask is working real good. We want to thank you all for coming out tonight. Ooh, upside down. It looks like a hockey mask. Wait a minute. Ready, good sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna do a. You wanna come up here with me? Cause I don't fucking know what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> hey, hit it.
everybody. Check us out in two weeks. We'll be right back there. Eat the cupcakes. Eat the cupcakes. Goddamn cupcakes.